Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus. Um, basically, just a, a quick message to say I've got a cold, so boohoo sympathy for me. But you'll notice there that I've got uh, an M16 from a 99 pence toy soldier I got from a uh, pound stretcher um, down the road. Uh, the reason for it is because you'll see that the um, Forge World uh, twin linked assault cannon that I got was just uh, beyond repair. Uh, it was just absolutely shocking. So uh, I just decided to try scratch building one, well, converting one I think is probably fair. Um, so you can see there's an M16 uh, from uh, a copy of a GI Joe type uh, thing and I'm just building up uh, a frame network to support it there. The model itself required a lot of cleaning, uh, a lot of um, filing and sanding and stuff and I'm just trying to work out what the pose is going to be. I also wanted a contempt or dreadnought to be walking forward towards the enemy. Uh, I think that sort of suits the fluff. You know, you don't get to wear a dreadnought um, or you don't get interred in a uh, dreadnought if you're a, a stay at the back kind of guy. Uh, so <clears throat> that's my version of the twin linked assault cannon. Uh, it's clearly two M16s but um, if you can forgive that and just move forward uh, that would be great. So um, you can see I've got him stacked on some blue tack there just to get his pose going forward uh, and once I'm happy with that I use Vallejo, uh, sorry, Vallejo model layer fire red um, as the base. As I've said it before it's a beautiful colour, love it, uh, I love the, the depth of it so just went to town uh, on that. I've speeded up this film quite a bit because uh, otherwise it would just be hours of me swearing lots and getting really grumpy when things didn't go according to plan. You'll notice as well I'm still using my 1499 Chinese uh, airbrush because my um, very expensive £120 um, silver line uh, Evo uh, is still just rubbish. Anyway, uh, mahogany uh, is Vallejo model air. Uh, mahogany is the uh, shadow colour. Uh, I just think the two colours work really, really well together. So I'm going around all the um, all the creases, all the shadows, and especially the bits that are going to hold up against the gold or the parchments or anything like that. So you see, it is quite a dark colour. And you, when you put it on at first, you think, oh, that's a bit too dark. But when you use the uh, highlight for the red, it actually sets it off really, really nicely. So you see in the background there, it's actually model colour scarlet red I've got. Uh, and that caused chaos when I tried to stick it through my airbrush because I mixed it with Tamiya thinners and it just went like porridge uh, and it took uh, a good two hours to clean my airbrush properly to get all the lumps and bumps out of it. So the lesson for, for me is go and buy some um, Vallejo thinners and, and stop making the mistake of thinking all thinners are the same because they're clearly not. Um, so just basically working my way through, shading all the, the areas that I thought would uh, would require some shading um, and you'll see when I get onto the, the main body it actually looks quite quite decent. Um, again the the plastic cup that's full of scarlet red in the background was the dump from all the stuff that I uh, got stuck in the cup uh, and it all went really really sludgy so I made a bit of a, an error here so I'm just going over some really fine lines with the mahogany because that's a, a gold band uh, around his stomach uh, or the stomach of the dreadnought should I say and I was, uh, I'd forgotten about that so I went back and did it but you can see the difference on his knee plate and his leg plate there it's, it's a really nice shade it gives a really deep shadow There was a part of me that was tempted just to leave it like this. Um, I think it, it could look really sort of um, grungy uh, if it was done like this. Um, and I, was, I did actually toy with it, especially after the drama of, of getting the highlight colour sorted out. But um, yeah, it, it was worth it in the end to, to go with the highlight. So that's the highlight going on the um, exhaust plates at the back. Uh, and you'll see the amount of doodles that I had to do in my paint and board there just to make sure that it wasn't going uh, completely wrong. So when you see it all uh, together it, it really makes a lot of sense. 
So painting both the helmets, I bought the um, uh, normal one and also the um, uh, venerable uh, one. So um, I painted them both just in case. And then here's me painting the uh, M16s. I was really worried in case the plastic just wouldn't take the paint, but with a uh, can primer on it, it seemed to take it. Uh, just fine. Just went with black and then uh, dry brushed it with uh, gun metal, uh, which is the other model air colour you see in the background. So just getting the pose uh, ready. I'm constantly taking photographs uh, on my phone just to, to give me a sort of working reference uh, and also to, to send to the other half of Crux Diamond Arts, who is Roddy, uh, just for, to ask for his opinion here. So you'll see there I've put the gold detail on with Vallejo old gold old gold even um, and I'm just painting over the, um, the Imperial Eagle um, at the front of the Aquila and basically this is painted on with uh, grey um, wolf grey and then I put a blue wash over it you can just about see through my fingers there you can um, you can see I put a blue wash over it and then I do the parchment um, I had a joke on Facebook with some friends uh, about what I was going to call him. Uh, his original name was uh, Stompy Blam Blam, um, but I was challenged to call him Buttercup by Richard Miller. And so I I went on uh, good old Google and got the Latin for Buttercup and made him Brother Sergeant uh, and then that. And that's me just painting the, the wreath and I had to keep checking to the spelling of it as I was writing it. Not the easiest thing in the world to to write, um, but I was just having such a laugh thinking uh, that you know on the tabletop this guy would be called Buttercup. Um, I had a bit of space left in the end, so I had to do the, the age-old trick of writing Rex uh, at the end of it. So um, I love the, the chest eagle, I think it looks really really nice. Um, the green here you'll see I put a green glow around his eye. Um, again that's uh, down to uh, Kiko Miku 7, um, Chris, um, who has inspired me to try these new techniques. So done that. And then a healthy wash uh, going on, it's uh, sepia. And it's going on um, again when this was wet I was really loving the colours I wish they could stay exactly like that but without the sheen but uh, as they dry it just looks so nice um, when you see it all together and then um, carefully dropping in the head uh, a couple of moments where my tweezers wouldn't let go but uh, eventually it went to go and that's me um, carefully opening up my uh, brand new glue you can see yeah thank you very much glue for that um, the bricks there are miscasts and half casts that were very kindly given to me by uh, Bidge and the real mithril uh, and if you don't know who they are that's me showing how happy I am with that if you don't know how, who they are um, you know subscribe to their channel they are a source of constant inspiration they're fabulous people and ultimately very very helpful because they gave me the bricks uh, that allowed me to uh, to make the base. So um, a case of uh, a base coat of uh, just black primer went on that uh, with Murray. It was before his first ever. He's three and three quarters, and it's his first ever model we've painted together. So he painted that for me black, and then I went on and just basically dry brushed it a couple of shades grey. Uh, not 50 shades, just uh, three, and then put some grass tufts in, and then through the cracks, I whacked in some, uh, just some railway modeler flock, and then it was a case of trying to get him in uh, to his base with pinned feet. Uh, only two bits snapped off during the process: his uh, missile launcher at the top, and then one of his uh, foot bricks at the bottom. But um, we um, we got we got there in the end. So as you can see, that's him uh, all finished and all spinning round. Um, I don't have one of those really expensive uh, cake things that everyone else seems to have, so that's me just turning around. So that's uh, Buttercup, um, and I hope you, you like him. Please um, please leave me some comments, any comments appreciated. And if you haven't done so, if you could like and subscribe to our channel, that would be grand. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers now. Bye-bye.